about gRPC APIs and RESTful APIs and a bit about the pros and cons of both and when I'd use each of them. So I'll start with REST APIs. So one of the biggest pros for REST APIs is its familiarity and popularity amongst devs. So most developers are familiar with how to consume REST APIs in their chosen programming language and tools like Postman also make this super easy for them to be consumed. They're also supported universally across all browsers, so it makes it really easy when you're developing web applications to call a REST API. Uh, the payloads of REST APIs are also quite human readable. They're in JSON format or XML format typically, and it's quite easy for people to look at it and sort of gather what data is inside it. But there are some drawbacks of REST APIs. And one of these is serialization. So because they use JSON or XML, uh, they need to be serialized and deserialized on both the client and server, which results in a bit lower performance. So if you're wanting the top speed ever, there is a little bit of an extra layer there where it needs to do that translation in the programming language of the server or the client. There's also a bit of additional latency because REST APIs require a TCP handshake for each request, which can increase latency. It also can't make use of the HTTP2 feature of streaming. There's no streaming available in REST APIs, and also there's no built-in code generation. Developers must use a third-party tool like um, Swagger. For gRPC, I'll cover some of the pros and cons now. So one of the biggest pros is streaming. It supports client-side streaming, server-side streaming, and bi-directional streaming as it's built on HTTP2 protocol. It can also support unary operations, which is very similar to the request response you see in REST APIs. So if you're opting not to stream client-side requests or server-side server responses, you can basically do something similar to a REST API using the unary uh, gRPC approach. There's also faster data transmission, and the protocol buffer um, is used to serialize data, which is smaller and lighter than JSON and XML serialization. So just passing smaller payloads back and forth. There's also some built-in code generation features compatible with several languages. One of the biggest cons of gRPC is familiarity. Many developers are just not as familiar with um, gRPC as they are with REST APIs. I think that's because it's just not as convenient to use in general. So unless you need top performance, a lot of people aren't using gRPC, they're just using RESTful APIs. Um, there's also a bit less support, so not all browsers support gRPC, so additional layers are required to perform conversions between the HTTP 1.1 protocol and HTTP 2. So I also want to talk a bit about when to consider gRPC or using RESTful APIs, because depending on your scenario, one may be a better fit for you. So there are um, some systems that would benefit from gRPC, and those are ones with smaller pay um, that would benefit from smaller payloads. So mobile applications, and that's because you're using data um, a lot of the time when you're out and about. So smaller payloads can be beneficial there, and also IoT systems, just because the is a bit more lightweight. You can also benefit from using it if you've got systems that require streaming or real-time updates, and that would that's just because you can make use of the HTTP2 protocol. And it's also good for internal systems if you want to have higher performance. Basically, whenever you have a need for speed, you should be considering gRPC. Um, but there are certain situations where REST APIs are quite beneficial. So basically, if you want to make the REST APIs available to external parties, a lot of people don't have the greatest familiarity with gRPC. 
So it might be better to produce REST APIs so that you're spending less time supporting people on how to actually call your APIs and get the data they need from your system. And also APIs that will be consumed by websites for simplicity's sake. It's beneficial in a lot of cases to just make those REST APIs um, so that you don't need to add those additional gRPC layers. Although it's getting easier and easier to add gRPC to websites, so I don't think this is going to be a big problem in the future, but for now it's just so much easier to work with REST APIs, everyone's familiar with them. I think that that can change over time, but it's we're just not quite there yet. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my content, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more.